Hey, what's up, guys? It's DJ. New and updated mods have been released on the mod up for Farm Sim 22. In total, today we have 40 mods for all platforms 23 new and 13 updates at pc and mag players got three new and one update this is a big mod day so sit back and relax i'll show you all the new ones plus their customization which there's a bunch and we'll review every single mod that got an update starting off today with new mods for all platforms and boy oh boy do we have a bunch for you starting with the john deere s600 i series from jhhg modding this is the european version we have two setups just like we did for the s700 i series so you've got the 660 670 680 and 690 customization is pretty much identical with the exception of your capacities being a little bit different and your engines being a little bit different but really that's it low end is 10,600 and the max end is 17 620 so let's just go with the biggest baddest one this is the s690 or at least it will be when we're done with it 473 horsepower we've got a couple different setups for your folding top here you want to go all the way go with that big top folding then we could choose between a 2012 or 2015 on your engine options so we will go with that 2015 the brand brand new yes that eight year old one uh wheel brands we have lizard which are more of like a firestone or a good year setup then we have continental michelin midas and back into the lizard again you could do a couple different setups for tracks don't expect to find any tools in here though uh, you're not going to find those in Europe anyway, so <laughs> it's not going to matter. But we do have the rear wheel assist with the big LSWs, or at least they look like those to me. Uh, some of the most beautiful tires in the game. Definitely check those out. Numbers, we could do numbers between 1 and 6 on the sides. Warning signs, absolutely. You want to make sure, warn everybody, the K-Bot might possibly be in here. Uh, take no chances. <laughs> We've also got different setups for your uh, setup in the back. So if you want to pull something, you can do a standard, you can do it off to the side or a folding version. Pipes, so we have the uh, 5.6, 6.9, 6.9 foldable, 7.9, 7.9 and foldable, 7.9 foldable, new and back in again. Rear axles, we have a wide or regular. Chopper tail boards, you have the standard or the new time, very nice. And then you got your license plate, and that is quite literally it. An absolutely beautiful machine, and especially if you guys are playing on Comston or something like that, you definitely want to go with this. Another John Deere, the John Deere Gator CX from Solutions Modding. Did this pass first time through? I feel like this passed first time through. We got 23 horsepower, variable transmission, 25 liters of fuel, 29 mile per hour max speed, 450 liter capacity in the back, and 811 kilograms. There's nothing that we could change up about this. Quite literally, it's just the license plate, and that is it. So be aware of that. Now, we do have some new buttons in here. So this just sounds like a tractor. I'm not sure what that sound is. Yeah, anyway. And then, of course, we have our camera, which we can take a look at. How cool is that? Next is the Wilson Super Hopper, the 53-foot. This is from Venomons. What up, dude? 40,000 liter capacity, and it weighs 8.9 tons. Let's take a look at this thing. So, wheel brands, we have Continental. We also have Lizard. We have Nuckin, and back into Continental again. If we change a few of these up, you can see the different versions that we have. I'm loving those Plantation HDO duels. Yeah. Then we also have a couple other setups here as well. So we have Lizard Flotation Tires, and we even have those Nokian Ground Kings, whether you want a super single or duels on the sides. I really like these, so that's what I'm going with. Toolbox, you got a toolbox that you can throw there on the side. Mud Flaps, we'll take a look at those in the very back. So we've got in the center or not. We also have Special, so all is front ah, right in front of it look at that i don't think we've seen that before special editions you can throw john deere on the side you can also throw case ih agco uh Kloss. yep you can do that or nothing this sets this trailer apart so much because i love the fact that we can have these on the sides now i don't think we had any semi trailer at least like this beforehand that would do that that's pretty cool attachments we have a rear trailer attacher that you can throw on the back of this as well that's really cool as well. Now, capacity, this is where it goes from fun to, oh, yeah, 40,000 liter capacity overall, 77.6 thousand capacity overall, or a cool half a milli, uh, 500,000 liters. I have trailers that I've modified, and they're not that high. So this is really, really getting good. Uh, yeah, and it holds everything. Did I mention that? Literally everything. Even throw stones in here if you really want to. Hopper. Now we can change the color of the bit itself. So this is just going to be the uh, the main bit here. So Tiffany blue, but we all know that that's toothpaste tractor. The frame itself, we're just going to go with yellow so you can see everything that it changes. The cover. Of course, cover is 
uh, cover. And then we have our rim colors as well. Nitro blue is an option, so nitro blue aged it is. Four different colors to choose from, three different capacity options to choose from. Uh, if you need a Wilson trailer, if you need any type of trailer for an American map, I think this is the one to go with, isn't it? Yeah. Next up from HR Force, we have their transport platform. This bad boy right here will go on a fifth wheel. Uh, you can do a couple different decorations on there if you guys want to do that. So we've got a, a bucket and a broom. Fair enough. Uh, load secure system. So we have automatic or tension belts. Go with tension belts for sure. And then the main color here, do we have the oof? That is blue. We have oof. That is blue. I want to show you guys this in the game because it is pretty darn cool. They do recommend that you use one of the new Volvo trucks. So we are going to do exactly that. Big engine. And we'll go for a big setup on the very back of that. Hook them. And you can see they're pretty identical as far as size it goes, but it will hook up via really any fifth wheel. Um, they do say it is most suitable for the Volvo stuff that have come with the DLC. So there you go. You can see we're clipping just a little bit. Help window turned on. What is that going to give us? Oh, that's not what I was expecting that to do. That's cool. Ramps down and I can change these even when they're down. Oh, that's just cool, man. Very neat there, very neat there. However, one thing I'm noticing, uh, at least for now, so we've got one control group, but it's not letting me move this bit around. So, looks like you definitely want something that's going to be right about there. Yeah, uh, this may be pretty limited to larger semis like this. I believe 82 Studios trucks work with this as well. Next is the John Deere Planter, the 911 radial meter. This will hold 2,700 liters. That is going to be seed and solid fertilizer. You can see down at the bottom, it does all of those crops right there for planting, including canola. Kind of neat there. And it is a direct drill as well. How cool is that i got the hiccups right now i'm sorry 110 horsepower required a uh, 5.1 meter working width at seven miles an hour Sushas modding are also the ones that release that bar that's adjustable you can hook up multiple things side by side this works with that as well so if you want a 10.2 meter working with planter go for it we have the front platform which could be added there we have markers on the sides which could be added or taken away and we even have a main color here if you guys want a different shade of green and then we have different setups for the wheels not all the wheels mind you just that front setup. Next is a loading wagon, the Lizard TO72-1. Sold 8,500 liter capacity, 2.3 tons, 25 horsepower, nine mile per hour max working speed. Very, very respectable through here. We could do standard and wide tires. We have a wall on the side, you can add that. Roller position, we could change the position of the roller. We've also got covers, so you could throw the cover on the front if you want to. That's neat, main color. I'm kinda cool with these, I like that. And the rim colors. I'm kind of cool with these too, man. Yo, what a neat little just unsuspecting mod that I think is going to go perfect with a lot of starting farms. It's cheap too. 4800 bucks, actually. Uh, 4700 bucks if you don't do nothing to it. And you don't need to. It's one of the great things about it. How's about a sprayer, but we keep it old school. This is the ORZ300A. This is an 8 meter, 5 mile per hour working speed, 300 liter capacity sprayer. Yeah, you can change up your setups here. The height is adjusted here versus in the game. And then you've got your main colors here, which I think will match just about anything that you've got as far as old equipment goes. This will work perfectly with it. Maybe an old Zader or Sus tractor, something like that. Again, kind of neat, very unsuspecting. From Calaruga Modding, we have the first of their mods today, the Lizard RT28. PC players, you guys can listen up as well because there is a PC only version of this mod, but the only difference is a logo on the side. So we'll talk about that. 40,000 liter capacity for all bulk crops. We've got different wheel setups here. So they're all in one place. Ladder on the very front, you can add that. Beacon lights, these are gonna be around towards the rear, so you've got that if you want it. Rear working lights, definitely go with those. And then design. This is gonna be the main tub. Another design, this is going to be all of the extra little bits. And then you can change up the rim colors. Very minimal setups here, but I kinda like that. You don't make this your own. You make it as good as you can with the way that you like it and then use it. That's a beautiful mod. Calaruga Modding always does a really great job. Check it out. Another mod that is 
kind of the same mod as we're going to be getting on PC later, is the Lizard Ruby 290T. I believe it's called the something Garcia Ruby 290T on uh, PC. Nonetheless, same thing here, so you guys can listen up. 30,000 liter capacity, we have a brake system or a pneumatic system. License plate positioning, we've got those different places. However, i found that the default for this is actually off. So we need to turn the license plate on you can even do it on both sides if you want to. That's kind of cool. I don't like that. Nothing really like that else. And then ball or pin hitch, depending on what you need. Ladies and gentlemen, 4D modding are in the building with their only second mod, I think, for Farming Simulator uh, 22. This one's kind of interesting. Uh, they've used at least what looks to be like a picture that's been overlaid and cut instead of uh, just going with a texture. I don't like this whatsoever, but maybe that's just me. I feel like pictures on things like this is a very Farming Simulator 13 way to do it. Um, would be cool to see this being a texture in the future. Nonetheless, it will hold 364 bells. How? Well, those are baby bells uh, all the way down to 110 centimeter. You can also do up to 180 centimeter square uh, if you guys want to as well through there. And also do... Uh, was at 99, so it'll do one less, all the way up to 240 square. So pretty much every single round bell that you could think of. Wait, is that 110 centimeter round bells? Do we even have those? Is that a real thing? Anyway, let's move on. We've got all kinds of stuff through here, different wheel options. Choose what you like. Uh, we also have trailer config of new and old. Uh, definitely want to go with the new there for sure. Auto loading. So we have auto load for bells or standard. That is going to load up whatever bell you get close to. It's going to set it. Uh, krill options. You've got those for the front and the back. We also have setups. This should look very familiar to you guys because this is pretty much the exact same setup from Farm Sim 19. Um, I like how we have every single option. We also have visible dirt. Uh, we have add straw, hay, soil, clean. That's kind of neat. Toolbox. You can add the toolbox down there. A couple different versions of those. Floor options. So a new wood floor. You've also got a steel floor. Again, I think the old wood floor just kind of looks like somebody took a picture of an old wood floor and put it down. I know they've done some work to it. You can obviously see that, but uh, just go with the new floor. It looks a whole lot better, I think. Body color. We could change that up. That is an OMG amount of colors. We have the uh, grow color, which we don't have on there. And then we have the steel floor color, which we, again, don't <clears throat> don't have on there. And the rims. We'll go with chrome. There's a lot going on here, man, for sure. Next, we have the Herculano HCCR175. This is used on a three-point, either on the back of your tractor or the front or whatever you've got that has a three-point. It holds 750 liters. It also weighs 150 kilograms, so it's super lightweight. It's basically a tipper that is attached to your tractor. We've got a couple things like this, if you want to call them an auxiliary box or something like that. The exact same thing here. You can put things in it and strap them down, so we have one strap that goes across the top or use it as a tipper. Next, we have the Flegel ASW 271 Tipper Trailer. Again, this is a multi-fruit trailer. Holds whatever you want to, 30,000 liter capacity. Configs, we have the ASW Standard Black. We can also go with a uh, Super Standard Black. We have a green. We have a, I don't know what that is, a Panther Edition? That's awesome, absolutely epic. You know what? Forget the rest of it. I'm just going to go with this right here. Wheel Brands, we have Trelleborg, Michelin, BKT, Ronestan, and back in again. None of those can be changed except for BKT. And we got some pretty cool setups there. Uh, stripes, we have Without, we have Red Stripes, we have Orange, White Stripes, Yellow, and Without. Let's go with the White. So it looks like this guy's in a cage. That's so cool. Uh, we do have color options for whatever that is, uh, which I'm guessing is going to be the cover. Yeah, it is the cover. Just never got translated. Nonetheless, there you go. If you want a trailer that makes it look like there's a panther in a cage, that's pretty sweet. Next is the Kongskilled HK31 Plus NS3130. This is a seeder at the end of the day. Seed only, all of your standard seed crops, all eight of them. 600 liter capacity for seed, 125 horsepower is required to run it at three meters and seven miles an hour. There's really not much else to it. It is an absolutely beautiful piece of machinery. Um, it is from Scout E39. And I do believe either they or someone else has a roller that goes on the front of this too. So you could do that. Or if you're on PC and you've got the roller on whatever I want it to be on mod, well, you don't even need one. Next, we got a mower, the New Holland 600 FDR. If this looks familiar, I believe this was from Farming Simulator 17 and 19. So kind of cool there. Six meters at nine miles per hour. And if we back out, you can see that we can use it with the base game FR78. So if you guys are wanting to get a little bit of mowing done, uh, this is a great option. And we got some placeables, and I believe there's a bunch of them today. First one's the auto load pallet storage, but I don't know why it just says pallet, because the name of the mod is actually auto load bell storage. 
which is really interesting. We check this out. Bell and pallet storage. Uh, yeah, put all your stuff here. I mean, it's it works exactly like everything else works. You can't go in there, so heads up there. And if we go here, storage is empty, so we can't see what's in it. But three bells in here, three pallets in here, all kinds of good stuff. You are good to go. Uh, however, I will say this. I don't think that they actually show bells going in it. So let's see if we can spawn a bell. How about that? Uh, let's spawn a, a, a one of one of these. I don't, I, man, I don't know which one it would be. This one? No, I don't think thirty-six thousand's the one. That one won't spawn. That one won't spawn. None of these are actually spawning right now. I don't, I don't know what I've done. Okay, well, that works. Uh, throw it in. Throw it in. So, that word is bell, right? I'm not crazy? Next, we have the Big Sheep Barn, and we've actually got a few versions of these, so you can either go with a uh, brown, you could go with a red, or you can go with a white setup. For me, I'm gonna go with a white setup here. Let's see if I can flatten it out, put it down, do the thing, and there it is, yeah! So, max 300 sheep, so that's pretty good. That also tells us the capacity for water, which is 40,000 liters. Food, 60,000 liters. And of course, we have those three things to choose from. Very cool here. That door does not open. Nope. Do these doors open? Nope. Nope. All right. Well, at least the big one's open. So that's the important part. What I like about this is it is a really neat sheep barn. You've got a place right here for your wool as well. And of course, inside. This gives me like some old school like some American farming vibes right now, like this. Here's something kind of cool and definitely something that I've seen a lot in my area, or at least something similar to this, salt storage. Yeah, look at this. So you back in your trailer or your bucket or whatever it is, and, and you buy your salt. It's kind of cool. You just buy your road salt, buy what you need instead of buying pallets, buy from a building. DJ likes this. And your next one is the wood storage. This bad boy allows you to store your logs by skidding them directly with a winch. So you can actually attach a uh, skidder like on the opposite side over here, drag them from maybe way over there somewhere, and just kind of drop them right in the sides. How neat is that? That is cool. I will do a bit of a reiteration from, uh, from a comment I've made previously. Seeing the same mods over and over again in different colors and shapes and sizes is fine. And I'm all for it. Bring them all in every single mod that you guys can. However, when we see something that's just a little bit different, you're like, oh, that's cool. I like that. Uh, this mod is definitely one of those. Thinking outside the box, doing something that we haven't seen before. This is really cool. Great job. And someone who is no stranger to uh, forestry mods like the previous one has made our next one, Gamer Designs. He made the forestry sell point. It's a placeable sell point used to place logs on and sell in game. It also has a container sell point right here. Logs are meant to be sold onto the metal racks right there, while containers will automatically sell in the marked square in front of it. It's only cost you $8,000. I know there's a place down here, placed it a little bit too far to the edge. So definitely check this out. I think this is cool. Makes you work just a little bit harder to sell your stuff. Plus, doesn't take up too much room. Next up, Shed. <laughs> Stay small machine shed with or without the base plate. So if you guys want the base plate or if you want whatever ground you put it on, you can do that. It also uh, will uh, lean just a little slightly forward enough to where I didn't even notice it until I jumped into the game just now. I actually pointed them backwards. So uh, there you go. Check them out. $8,000 or $10,000 respectively. Nice short sweet to the point. Remember that whole thinking outside the box thing? Well, this is more of a putting it in a different shape, but I still like it. <laughs> this is the open garden. So we have small and large vex vegetable gardens, huh? Or you could do it uh, with a little wood around it. They're just greenhouses at the end of the day. If we come and take a look at this, you can see all of them are just regular greenhouses. Nothing crazy. Just one's like double the speed and double the amount of the other one in two different visual looks. This one just looks like it was dug out of the ground. That's super cool. And next to last, today is gonna to be the basic pastures pack from Foo Farmer. Uh, I do believe that there was another modder that like took his mod from a previous game and used him without his permission. Uh, those are gone by the way, and he has taken the time to release his mods the way they were. So we have stuff like the basic pastures for cattle right here. 100 head of cattle. We jump over to horses. We got those as well. 10 for the horses. 
Little Baby Piggies, 120, of course. Sheep, sheep is 120. We also have chickens. Yeah, we got chickens. A huge area, 450 as well. Uh, no open <laughs> free-range bees and no free-range dogs. Uh, let's just place down the cattle version. Boop. There we go. Placed it down. And I have been told, at least previously, that it should be very easy to find where you take the, uh, the bits and turn them off. So let's see if we can come through here. Let's see. Open object menu. Of course, we have where we can buy them. Oh, was that a sign? Loading zone. <laughs> I like that. I like that a whole lot. It's this guy right here. Toggle markers. Oh, they're going down. Look, they're going down into the ground. <laughs> Oh, they're just gone. Wait, are they actually under the ground? They are under the ground. Oh, that's so cool. Dude, food farmer. That was epic. And lastly, we have the bell and pallet storage, but I'm pretty sure this one actually holds bells, unlike the previous one. Um, this one is exactly like what we have base game, just in a different shed, it looks like, or at least a redesigned shed, and it holds 750 bells and pallets. Making our way over to mod updates for all platforms. First one is Prairie Farm Michigan version 1.2. New save not required. They fixed the bail issue with the Gravile DLC pack and added a barn and object storage, which will hold 600 things. Next is the Frankenmuth farming map. This is version 2 as well, and it's the exact same changelog. Thirdly is Michigan Farms map, also from Taylor Farms. Now, this is version 1.4, but it is exactly the same changelog. They fixed the Gravile DLC bales and added uh, object storage. One mod that is showing as an update, it's got 157 votes, but it's only version one of the mod. I can't tell what it is, but it's a Balkanska Pharma. Yep, yeah, I don't know how to say that. I apologize. However, this has gotten an update, but there is no change log. Next update is another map, Ebony Island version 1.2. The old save game is compatible, so no new save is required. All sheds, barns, etc. now only spawn on new farmer mode for perfect, uh, perfect for those who want to play start from scratch. Hey, no objects on the map. That makes it nice. Also, an object shed has been added to some farms with a capacity up to 500. Ed farm silos are now multi-fruit. Next up, another mod update, Cow Farm version 1.2. 006. They made important buildings on the farm for sale. An extreme version removed all the bushes that ran through the fields. Also, minor improvements and a new save game is required. The Avant series has been updated to version 1301. A forestry update. They've added a stump grinder, improved the pallet pork, and some other optimizations. And the International 2 Plus 2 series for MIUI modding version 111. Sound update and physics update. We also have an update to the Tractor Triangle. This is version 1001. Version without mouse controls been applied, model revisions, and XML files. What? Next, the small Horma garage, including warehouse. This is version 101. Added a garage in wooden look, added bell warehouse, adjusted the lighting settings, revised the texture for barrel axe occlusion mapping, removed grid placement so it now works for the base game, and fixed clip distance. An update to the tap and portable jet washer, version 1.1. Added portable jet washer. Now you can charge your water tanks for free. That's pretty darn cool. And added new colors to the tap. And now that they've added the portable jet washer that also changed the name apparently as well. Next to last update is the Lizard Rumbler Van version 2.1. We have some new additions and bug fixes and changes. New additions include added AI worker job for deliver and load and deliver, added the configuration for driver sale, added animation for the front doors and front glass doors, and the bug fixes and changes fix the empty speed, collision for long version, sound for motor configurations, traffic collision, and lights. And your last update today for all platforms could be Comlands. This this is version 1.1, beat cut bullets, nano, and accept your bullet to bay. B gas and the sugar factory messed all that up. Let's keep moving. And now you can sell beat cut bells and biomass thermal plant. Making our way over to new ones for PC and Mac players. The first was the Camaro RT28 from Calaruga Mani. This is basically just like the version that we had for all platforms, but it is here now for PC only. It is just branded, and that's the only difference. 40,000 liter capacity. We've got a couple different options for wheels there. We got the ladder on the front, we got beacons around, rear working lights. We have the design colors you could change the main thing over you can also change up the yellow bits and you can change up those rim colors as well secondly we have the hermanos garcia ruby 290t another trailer for you guys 30,000 liters here we got a brake system or pneumatic brakes license plate position on the rear you can have left or right and uh by that actually none is showing can we show this real quick 
Back only? No plate? There we go. Hey, uh, so you've got that. Can you do both, really? All right, fair enough, fair enough. And then the attachment type, we have a normal hitch. Uh, we have pin or the ball hitch. And your last new one for PC and Mac players today is going to be the extended game info display. This expands the current game info display in the upper right hand corner by displaying the current year under the date. And it also activates a hidden temperature feature with an indicator of whether the temperature is falling or rising, staying consistent, or etc. Uh, the display of the current temperature, the min and max for the day is also shown. This is pretty cool. Let's take a look at the screenshots real quick. So you can see here, this is what we've got now. And then this is the new one. So under the uh, month, we have what year it is. And then we also have all the other stuff with temperature as well. This is really cool. I like this. And your last mod today, the Enhanced Animal System version number two. They've got multiple new animal visuals. Animal offspring can now be male or female. When you take young animals from husbandry with the trailer, the menu did not update. Well, that's been fixed. They've also fixed the option where you cannot select more animals than the husbandry holds in the menu. Synchronization has been improved and fixed a bug that could cause animals to disappear when they enter the stable. Well, guys, that's it. That is it for today today hope you enjoyed the video if you did drop a like on it get subscribed if you're new enjoy the go ham fam make sure your notification bells are on as well that way you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel speaking of farming simulator uh, we talked about a different one this morning farm sim 23 we get to see the pda for both the american and the european map for the mobile game so if you want to see those check it out otherwise just hope you have a great day we'll see you later